Hi, I'm Chloe and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. This video is going to be a supplementary video for Chanel Coco Handle Mini Flat Bag Review. I'm going to show you what fits inside of these two mini bags, Louis Vuitton Alma BB and Chanel Coco Handle Mini Flat Bag. They are my two favorite mini bags and it's going to be a kind of which one hold more comparison video. It's not gonna be that long. Let's get started. This Chanel Coco Handle Mini Flat Bag is already fully loaded. If you just saw my previous review, you can skip this part because it's got the exactly same stuff in it. Louis Vuitton key pouch. Chanel card case, a bottle of perfume, my lip product pouch, hand cream, mobile phone, iPhone 7, Chanel card slot, and some reset. As I mentioned on my previous review, the spike is bigger than the Louis Vuitton mini pochette but it doesn't hold the mini pochette because of the small mouth opening. So if you want to use this Chanel Coco handle flat bag in mini size, you need to take everything out of the mini pochette and just put them one by one, like this. On the other hand, this Louis Vuitton Alma BB can hold the mini pochette. So let me put some in it. Mini pochette with a bottle of perfume, hand cream, some reset in it. Chanel card case. Dior leaf product pouch. Louis Vuitton key pouch. Mobile phone, iPhone 7, and Chanel card slot. That's all from Chanel Coco Handed Mini Flap. And it looks perfect. Great. There's still much room inside, so let me put some more. Oil control powder, floss, and contact lens case. Let's see. It's fully loaded. And it still looks perfect. It's neither bumpy nor wavy at all. This small bag is holding everything well. To be honest, I feel the Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag is more practical for me because it holds more and it's easier to open and access. Of course, I know the Chanel bag is on another level. The price is much higher, it's more than twice. It looks more luxurious, fancier, prettier, people value it more. But I don't know, I paid over 4.3 million won in Korean currency and I'm still not sure whether this bag is worth the price or not. I love them both though. Anyway, it was a very short which one hold more comparison video and I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you need any further information, feel free to ask me on YouTube comment below or on the Instagram and thank you very much for watching my video.